What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K21 course showcase video. We're diving into a new course today, Umpcall National, from the designer Honey Badger Hacker. And this is another course from the TGC Tours National Treasure Design Contest, and this course is taking us to Oregon, and I'm blown away by this course. The pl this course is one of my favorites in this competition so far. I mean, all these courses have been amazing, but this one, the planting, the environment is just incredible. As always, get on out there in game, play this course. Let me know how you shoot in a comment below. Let's see who can get the best score on the channel. We're going to be diving into the course from the white tees, in location number one, and all the default course conditions. That's going to give us normal fairway and green firmness and fast green speeds. But as always, thank you, Honey Badger Hacker, for the hard work designing this, you legend. This could be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and dive on in. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Plenty of course show showcases to check out on the channel by clicking the link in the description or just checking the channel page each and every day. Here we go. We get to the first tee. The one thing that amazed me with this course is the planting. Like, pay attention when you're playing this round. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you in the flyover. Pay attention to how each hole is like a work of art in from the framing perspective, but also from the planting. Like this is so well done, so much attention to detail. And let's start this fly over here. I mean, I just could you all imagine? I mean, from this distance, we can't see all the planting in the distance as far as the bushes, but just from this perspective, can you imagine how long it would take to plant all this. Like that is so beautiful from the hills, the elevation changes. Just a picture perfect moment on so many different holes on this golf course. We have the first one on hole one, but we're going to have a billion to select from from this. Uh, but here we go. I, I want to show this region because, you know, if you're playing on console, you don't necessarily get to see this. But look at this. And we have the river, which so this is a river. Umpka is a river. There's a river in Oregon, Umpka River. And the river is running through here. And it's just so well done with the rocks on the cliff. You know, you all that don't know, you haven't been the designer. There's no presets for rocks like this. Like, it, Honey Badger Hacker actually spent time placing multiple rocks and multiple layers to get this, this cliff and this rock detail. And it, it's just so cool. It's so very well done. I mean, you'll see it as we play the course as well throughout it. And this is one of my favorite stretch of golf hose right here. I mean, we have the river running through. I just love this view, especially as we look at it from over here as we're going towards the lake area. I guess this would be a lake, but it's just so well done. I I'm blown away by what Honey Badger Hacker created. This is just phenomenal stuff. The environment from the houses around it, it just seems so real you know i've never been to oregon so you know if you you all that have been to oregon and played golf there you know have you ever seen a golf course like this i i'm just i'm blown away i mean even the planting just around the river throughout it's just so well done it, it's fantastic like i could not imagine how much time honey badger hacker spent on this and this this is just so well done many of you might have already played this course because it was on the tgc tours on seat on the challenge circuit and i love that i wanted to show you all this view i love this view of the course with the lighting kind of shining over the course you can see so much of the elevation changes but there you have it what a view and especially the aerial view here it just looks so well done what a plot of land right there round of applause to honey badger hacker at the beginning of this and let's go play some golf here we go. Starting out, you get bonus points. Starting out with the par 5. 589 yard par 5. Let's send it. We don't need oh, a practice swing. Fun. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. What was it? What did I say? <laughs> we don't need a practice swing. Oh. Told you. Told you. <laughs> yeah, it's 100%. I saw a rock there. You know, I saw a rock there, and I knew I had to full send that one on a red fast, hit it off the rock, from here. and send it, <laughs> so we'd have 214 yards left. We actually have to go back and look at <laughs> We did hit a random rock here. 100% calculated. You know, there's a few rocks uh, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in this area. We have a rock, and wow, did we get a bounce. <laughs> 
I, sh I wish I would have dedicated that one to the designer. <laughs> no, if I would have dedicated it, it probably would have somehow found its way into the river. All right, here we go. 214 yards, uphill two feet. Actually, let's dedicate this one. A three iron into the green. This one's for you, Honey Badger Hacker. I'm feeling good after that drive. That drive really made me feel good about my game. Even though it was technically, some of you would call it a missed shot. No, it was, it was calculated. <laughs> How many of you all thought that ball was going in the river? You could be honest with me. How many of you all thought that ball was going in the river? Oh, look at this. Look at that perfect sculpting from Honey Badger. What a legend. There you that one's go. for you, this and this, this eagle is going to be for you as well. Because remember, the shot this counts and the rest of the shots. It's a shot dedication and a continued hold dedication. We get three around. <laughs> what a way to start. Eagle chance here on hole number one. Go. Looking super. Come on. Yes! Done. That Nowadays, one's for you, uh, honey badger. Uh, Let's go. Thank you. So see, Ryan Gamer is staying at one of the houses on this golf resort. And Honey Badger Hacker knows whenever Ryan Gamer comes to the course, you get the designer gets out on the course and puts magnets in each of the pins. That was the magnets being installed. Thank you for that. <laughs> what a view, though. I mean, you talk about gorgeous planting. I mean, look at this. Picture perfect golf, till, golf hole. I, I, I don't know how designers do this. I really don't. We're going to send this in the fairway. 432 yard par four. Just a pure swing. Listen to John. John, love that. Sometimes John builds your confidence. Just a pure swing. Sometimes John crushes your confidence, though. So you just have to take what you can get. <laughs> Second shot here on hole number two. At 117 yards here. Going to go with the 107 gap wedge here. Let the wind roll it up. A little bit of stopping action. Swing felt great. It's got to get up there, though. Oh, no. Okay, that cross tailwind did not do as that much as I thought nicely. it would. Here's Can't complain. 17-footer for birdie. Steady right to left. We just made an eagle. Get a, let's get a birdie here. It could be a good one. Let's go! Ryan okay, Gamer's on well fire! Welcome to Oregon, Ryan. Welcome to Oregon. <laughs> Maybe Ryan's going to move to Oregon now. I know nothing about Oregon. What will happen on the third? Let's find It would be exciting. Like 171 yards on this par 3 downhill 16 feet. I like the way this is sculpted. Really we want to land it right in this area and kind of roll it down towards the hole. But I think I'm going with the 7 iron here. Be the one. I mean the attention to detail with the planting, like it's just perfect. It'd be so hard to judge this competition. Could you all judge this out there? Like, you know, many of you have watched a lot of these showcases. If you're new here, there's plenty. You check out these National Treasure courses. They have been just phenomenal. And then after you check them out, Nicely done. how would you pick a winner? <laughs> Put them in a hat and draw. You're all winners in my book. 17 feet uphill, 3 inches. Steady right to left. This could be another birdie. To do some crazy stuff here in Oregon. Well, the putt appears to be online. Oh, we needed we need stronger magnets in the hole on that one. <laughs> we can't complain. Three under through three. Let's let's get some coffee. Cheers to your coffee drinkers out there. Coming up. And that's gonna make. Or cheers to whatever your beverage of choice is. A 418 yard par four up the hill. Narrow fairway, so it's narrow. You can lay it up here. Or send it. I think I'm gonna send it. Why not? That sounded a little bit off. <laughs> well, I can think of a couple reasons why not. <laughs> what about you all? Well, uh, why not? You may hit Where it into the weeds. Going? Please the be. Not please not be out of bounds. Or please be oh, out of bounds. That's a good. rock. Okay, so that underneath the, the I'm sure the designer added that for texture, right? I doubt the designer actually thought somebody would hit it here. <laughs> if we're being completely honest, I doubt that the designer thought that anybody would hit it all the way down here. 
but we are gonna send this we can test you know if y'all need ryan to test hazard areas we can test them all we can test them all let's see if we can send this one back somehow Get through these you know, you gotta, you gotta appreciate the scenery, right? The only way you can appreciate the scenery is if you hit some really bad golf shots. And now that we're back on the Good recovery fairway, there. Let's take a look at hitting I'm gonna this go with green. the splash here into this hill, a little bit of backspin, and then send it. Slight fast. Not bad at all. Beauty. Wouldn't that be nice to save par on this it one? It would be nice, John, and we did. That's gonna work. You know, that wouldn't, whenever John says, wouldn't it be nice to save par, it kind of makes me nervous. I don't know about you all. So like, it's like, John, I, I still got to make the putt. Of course, it'd be nice to make par. On the fifth. I love this view. You talk about a stunning view right here. It's another screenshot. <laughs> I played this round. I played a round here the other day. My first round here. And I just kept taking screenshots. I just kept taking screenshots. I couldn't help it. A 434 yard par four. I think we can clear this river. Famous last words, but I'm going for it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I keep red fasting it. It's actually a good thing I aimed at the river. Okay, the red fast drive is back. You know, somebody gave me a great tip yeah, one works. time. Yeah, I kept hitting red fast, so and I was like, I just don't understand. Why am I hitting red fast? And somebody in chat said, Ryan, just swing slower. Well, <laughs> you know, sarcastic as they, they might have been sarcastic, but they weren't wrong. I started swinging slower, and everything started working out. So we're, we're just going to swing slower right now. I'm sure I'm, I can't believe I never thought about that. Oh, what a view of the whole course as the ball is in the air. Go in. <laughs> oh, nice should have dedicated that, that one. No, if I would have dedicated it, no telling where it would have went. It, it, yes. That reminds me That's of a time. Perfection. You all nice might remember break. this. Uh, I I had so many Man, like eight course five. showcases in a row. I did yeah, not have well, one good shot dedication. Win. So I started doing post-shot dedications because <laughs> I felt so bad for these designers. <laughs> they would come in here, oh, a shot dedicated to me? Oh, this one's going to go in the hole, right? And then it would land like 100 yards away. That might be an exaggeration, but what a screenshot right here. <laughs> so I started doing post-shot dedications, but that doesn't count. We're back to the normal ones. We have my favorite type of hole in golf, a drivable par 4. Very dangerous. I'm not afraid of the river, though. If we could land this right here and kind of roll it all the way down towards the hole, I'm actually going to dedicate this shot. I'm feeling it. This one's for you, honey badger. Here we go. Imagine. Perfect. That's too far. This could roll nice. into the rough, I think. You know, it's not my worst shot dedication. At least it's not in the river. We're gonna be left Here's with a really shot difficult this shot this downhill splash shot is so dangerous from the heavy stuff luckily ryan has been in these scenarios plenty of times and know how to hit it go in oh good recovery beautiful view of the river there it's gorgeous okay, the lighting there the i'm gonna try to hot. ryan's walking around the green here so we can show you the reflection off the water there is just beautiful. Really nicely done. I already know I'm going to be spending a good two hours trying to decide what picture going. to use for the YouTube thumbnail, that right? <laughs> so many great views. Second, we'll take the birdie. birdie. From a tough spot, too. That's a dedicated birdie. An eagle on the day. Par. And the seventh hole is upon us. I mean, this planting, like... I get, a, I get a big appreciation for planting after I've been to the designer and tried to plant one golf hole and gave up after about five minutes. <laughs> and uh, I get a big appreciation for what these designers do. Like, that is just stunning right there. 382 yard par four. Send it. Nice swing on that. That is a good swing. See, just swing slower. Whoever said that in chat that one time, they weren't wrong. Just swing slower. 
Beautiful 304 yard you drive. Take uh, an extra club on this one. That green is pretty elevated. <laughs> Thanks for the info. Is John our new caddy telling us how to hit or how to play the game? I'm gonna go with the lob wedge. Not listen to John and go up a club. This one's looking good. Get up. Uh, even though John was not wrong, a partial up a club would probably have been okay, the better the shot. Safely. But let's not tell him. Looks down. like a little bit of a right to left ghost 600. break that it's not showing. Or. <laughs> back back. Or. All right, let's finish this whole it was round. the opposite way. You hate to see it. You All know, right, it, the more you play this, this game. One. So I played this game for 1,500 hours at this point, And <laughs> the more I play, you know, you, you have these times one. where the grids aren't moving. And then you, there's ghost break, right? So then whenever you have, you see grids not moving, you just automatically assume there's ghost break. And there wasn't. 471 yard par four here on hole number eight. Get up, get up. That wind is eating it. Oh, now that's just mean. And it's going to be in the heavy Unlucky. stuff. Unlucky. Okay, we're in the deep rough. We just got to send this. I like that John, I like that. John says unlucky instead of poor skill. <laughs> Imagine if John just blasted your skill as the announcer. Like they have different announcer and packs in this game. In and like whenever you hit a bad shot, okay, shot and when you shot. kept hitting bad shots, John would just start yelling at you. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you even play this game? Wow, that would be so, so frustrating. Let's see if we can send this. Gonna do a full pitch, full backspin and shot shaping. Come back. Go in. Oh, a lot of finesse on that Four one. Left. We're a par though. Nicely done. We'll take it. Never gonna complain about a par though. I mean, we hit it in the rough off the tee on a long par four. Five hundred still after that hole. And this planting is just gorgeous. You know, we walk around here and take a look from this view. The attention to detail is just phenomenal. The rocks here, I just, I don't know how you design this stuff. I really don't. And I really like the way he did the cart path. It looks really cool. I don't know if they did the cart path with, if that's actually cart path or if that's like rocks. Looks really cool though. It's 168 yard par three. I'm gonna actually use this back slope and roll it down. We're gonna get fancy here. Play it the way the designer intended. No, too short. That wind ate it. So it's trying to actually hit it off that slope and roll it down. We're going to be left with the... Vi oh, look at this. Got a nice little roll there, but okay, this is going to be a tough putt. Green. Chance for he birdie here. 15 birdie footer. Back. It's got to cut. It's got to cut. Get in there. Oh, good putt. I thought it was going to break just slightly yeah, more. Putt coming up. Wouldn't it be the first time we've been wrong? Right, we can just blame the caddy, the right? It's always six pennies fault. It's never Ryan Gamer's fault. It's always the caddy's six pennies one, fault. Five under. And then, you know, oh, you talk one, about... Up. It's going oh, my right. favorite tee, my favorite views on courses are... What I look for is hole number one, hole number 10, and hole number 18. Those are the views that I just want a breathtaking view, and this course does it. And hole number one and hole number ten here. What a view! The downhill, I mean, the mountain ranges in the background, the planting along both sides is just so well done. Let's send this 470 yard par four here. It's a long hole, but it's downhill 65 feet. Just swing slower. It works. Ooh, looks like we're going to the fairway. All right, next tutorial video. I'm gonna make how to how to avoid red fast. It's gonna be a you know a video is gonna be how to how to avoid red fast and improve tempo. It's gonna be a 30 second tip video that all it says it does it does a 25 second intro and then it says well my tip for you today is just swing slower and the video ends. <laughs> Could you imagine 116 yards away? It's a perfect club here. Let's let the wind slide it into the hole. Ooh, we're heading for the green here. Go in. Come on. Oh, I almost called it. What a golf USA. shot. Well Let's take our birdie done. and run. Six under on the That's day. There. Here's your fourth birdie of the day.
Eight holes remaining. We have a couple part fives, a couple part threes. I kind of want to dedicate an, a albatross to the designer today. <laughs> it's just going to be that easy, right? It's going to be that easy. Just dedicate an albatross in the day. What a view. Another stunning screenshot. All right, here we go. 204 yard par four. I mean, par three into the wind. It's actually a good club with this wind. Partial three irons are the hardest shot to hit in the game, though, for me anyways. I don't know about you all. Perfect swing. Might be a little bit short. Oh, but it hit the fairway. Got a great bounce. It's a good thing that hit the fairway versus the green. The green, it would have hit a lot softer into that slope. Nine feet away. Nine footer for birdie. Slide up the hill here. I'm going to hit this pretty aggressive. Let's send it. It's getting there. Beauty center cup. That drops. That's your fifth birdie of the day. Back to back birdies. Can we start a little birdie train here? Whoever the train conductor on the channel the is, can you keep it here? Par five for keep this that hole. train here. What a view. I mean, how am I? This is just so beautiful. Designer. Wow. Very nicely done. 575 yard par four. Par five, I mean. And you can't send it. But what? What if we send it into the wide open fairway here to the left? Would that be what would be more beneficial? 322, we have a chance to hit the rough. This side, we have no chance to hit the rough, and we can full send it. And I think we have a better look at the green. You know, I'm just going to test this out for you all. This is for you all. I really want to know if this is a smart play or if this is just crazy. Swing didn't feel as soon as I know you can hit it. <laughs> well, uh, at least I didn't dedicate that one. Hold, hold. Well, that one's goodbye. <laughs> well, we'll never know. <laughs> what? Why did I do that? Okay. What? Third why? Show. You know, we have to. We have to ask ourselves. You know, with every decision, why? What? What was I thinking? We're just gonna send this one to the fairway. <laughs> Bold, using the driver off the fairway. I was oh, so oh. scared to fasten. I just swing. I just swung slower. I mean, we can get That's, up and down, uh, yeah. or nice possibly make back. this for birdie. This is very, very gonna go to a normal. Sandy. Let's get out of here. Lob wedge, full sand into the hole. Bit a great lie there, but it actually, wow, it hit a lot softer than I expected. Don't worry about that now. Um, I've seen much worse than that. <laughs> Thanks, John. Well, John seen much worse than shot. that. You notice that John did not say that on the water shot. John was probably thinking, why in the world was Ryan aiming to the opposite fairway on an easy fairway to hit? <laughs> Just barely nice missed it. Chip. You know, Let's I always say this, bogeys are going to happen. Get will move on to the next one. There's plenty of golf left. Okay, score is currently clocking in at six under par. Hey, let's redeem ourselves. Okay. 456 Light yard par, par four. four. Let me go to the right here. It seems like the shorter route. Looks like this tee shot's coming in for safe landing. It's got to hold. Come on, ball. Hit soft. Come on, hold. Perfect sculpting by the designer there. Yeah, this is about 165 yards out. 164 yards, uphill 5. I'm going to go up to the 170, a little bit of D-loft on it, and send it. What happened to just on, swing slower, right Ryan? Wow, did I send that one. I want to say I saw a bird's nest up on that tree there. Well, that'll do for now. I've not seen a squirrel what yet. This course has it all, here. but it does have a squirrel. I'll just, uh, I'll just be quiet and watch and see. How you do. <laughs> it does have a bird's nest? No bird in it though. But I'm sure there's a bird somewhere. All right, 36 footer up the hill. Let's get this 30 footer and be on our way. Come on. Oh, so close. Gosh, That's a good read, though. Five feet good read. We'll go. take our par. We really slowed well down. Done. What a start we had on the front. And then a good start to the back. That bogey deflated it, but we... I need everybody yeah, to one time this next drive. We need some confidence. We need some confidence. Like drive will par four. And, you know, I'm dedicating this to Honey Badger. Honey Badger, this one's for you. This could be going in. Six penny, go ahead up there and tin the flag here. One's going in. Ooh, a little bit off on that swing. Make sure you check your swing meter. 
Make sh Thanks, John. Make sure we check our swing meter. That's John's other way of saying just hit it slower, right? <laughs> okay, from the green side, sand. Get up Dude, sometimes it here. seems like John listens to me. And knows exactly what I'm doing and what I'm saying to him. If we can send this in. Per we had a perfect club there, full loft and backspin. Not a difficult splash. Nicely played out of the sand. Gonna be a dedicated birdie. Great That's a dedicated eagle and two birdies for Honey Badger. Very rarely do people have minus four dedicated to them right now, on these Gamer Booty Course Showcases. Today. Very rarely. Left to what a right. view, though, with the river here. Like, that, that is gorgeous. Another screenshot moment here. How many screenshots have I taken so far? 121 yards, downhill 3 feet. Going to do full backspin, a little bit of loft. Well, not the purest of strokes. Well, I just swung slower. <laughs> Nobody can tell me to swing slower on that one. Well, you can't hit all the greens. You can't hit all the greens. See, that's the Good best thing John said second. all day. Here on the 15th. Sent that one. Okay, we're leaving that sand behind. It looks like it's left, left to right path. and right Let's to see. left. Grab the putter. Or, Yikes. Right by. or right to left the whole way. Okay. Well, Bogey. well, well. Bogeys are gonna happen. Just get them and All move right. on. When I, when I told the train the conductor to keep the Six birdie train in, currently. did you all send it away? We need a new company. All right, 541 yard part five. We need some confidence here. We have lost our About tempo. That sounded a little off. <laughs> I mean. I cannot wait to see our fairway percentage. If you could look at your fairway percentage per nine, that would be perfect. Bunker. It's going to send this into the fairway and try to get birdie. We need a birdie bad. I need coffee. I think that's the problem. We haven't drank enough coffee. Well, not bad out of that uh, bunker. You're in the fairway now. All right, here we go. This is what our third 105 like. yards should be a perfect club for the gap. Be the one. Too short, right? 97%. I don't think that's getting up there. Nice Got shot. lucky that that stayed on the hill. Feet to the cop from here. Look, if that ball is a centimeter back, it's going to roll all the way down. 14-footer on a huge birdie opportunity here for Ryan. We need the confidence. This one's on a good line. Let's go! Yeah, Honey Badger puts the magnet in the hole. That's what I'm talking about. Two hoes remaining here. That's a birdie. I want to get to nine okay, under par. That's, uh, seven under and what par a view. This moment. course is just so and stunning. Teeing up now on the 17th. Look, the fairway. It exists. Wow. I did not even know Ryan could hit the fairway. Nice. A 93 yards uphill 17. Go for the pitch shot. Overpowered full send. Brave shot to hit. Shots coming We're feeling in brave today, though. Beauty. <laughs> oh, come on now. Nice shot into. We this can get three. the birdie. Good work. Eleven footer, steady this break though. For the birdie. Oh, the magnet. Yeah, wow, nice. Honey Two Badger. Wow, do I love Honey Badger. This course is phenomenal. He's put the magnet in. These putts should usually do not drop. And then we have my favorite view of the entire course, everybody. My favorite view of the entire course. I mean, just a stunning view. I don't know how you created this. I don't know what superpowers that you have. But I'm glad you have those course design superpowers because we get to play something of this caliber and it's just wow all right let's send this but i will say honey badger ended with my favorite view but my least favorite hole in golf a long par four i like all golf I courses to finish with the par five good. just a personal preference i love the excitement of a par five a long par four is yeah, up here not fun for me but or so from the pin as we say that I'm going to show you how to play a long par 4 here. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Please go in the hole. Nice. 
Kick left would be nice. Good job, John. Just beautiful. See, that's how you play a long part four. Beautiful golf shot. Beautiful there. golf course. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to look at the ghost break. I trust Honey Badger Hacker. Honey Badger Hacker made this as straight. He designed this course on PC. He knows all about ghost breaks. We know this is straight. Always trust Honey Badger. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. All right, okay. Is Let's take this par and be on our way. But what a great course. Eight under on the round. Five out of five star. Ten out of ten. Unlimited stars. I am blown away with what you did on this course, Honey Badger. We did not play our best golf. I feel like we could score a lot better here. But were we blown away by the scenery? I mean, def I already favored it. I already five starred it. Just beautiful. Look. 64% fairways. That's the Ryan Gamer we know and love. 77% Gers. 8 under on 1.33 putts per hole. Wow. But thank you for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And you can check out the full playlist if you're looking for other course showcases. Especially if you're looking for the National Treasure. Where you'll see courses from many different states in the United States. I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.